five, four, three, two, one. Hello, 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 and welcome back. Welcome back to Space Engineers on the Series X. And this is DLC Showcase Warfare 2 Broadside Pack. What do you get for your cash when you buy this to support Keen in their further development of Space Engineers in 2022 and beyond? Well, as you know, the Warfare 2 Broadside update came out recently and it's already had a couple of hot fixes. There's still some issues which people are reporting. Keep on reporting those issues onto the Keen support site. Again, I'll leave the link in the description of this video. But for now, we're going to talk about what you get in this pack. And why am I in the character customizer? Well, if you look, you get a shark helmet. There it is. Lies on the side. Teeth. See it there. Not only do you get a shark helmet, but if we go into third person, you get two new emotes. You get the military salute, like so. And one of the more interesting emotes to play rock, paper, scissors. And this is a random emote, I believe. So you never know what you're going to get. Paper. So that's rock, paper. Scissors. go through them in sequence I'm not sure no it's random there you go scissors but that's not all it's not just a shark helmet some emotes and so on nope you get a bunch of non pay to win blocks these are all reskins or additional blocks to use when creating your bases and your starships and we'll go with the Warfare Reactor. Comes in large and small grid. Here's the large grid. Large reactor. You see. Very nice design. Fits very well with the heavy industry update. And as you might know, it has all the functions of a reactor. And then you've got your small Warfare Reactor. looks really nice and then of course in small grid let me pull the time back a bit we have your large small grid and we have your small warfare reactor those are the warfare reactors as i said they're reskins of the original they're not boosted in any way shape or form they're just new models etc etc same functionality and then if you're a ship builder you're going to like these modular designed warfare two style ion thrusters in small grid a large ion thruster again same stats as the original ion thrusters they just look different and of course you get them in large grid large Large grid. Warfare iron thruster, they look very nice. Of course, the way they're designed, they will look much better on a ship in general. 
and now we also get a new lighting solution and i really like this one because this allows for uh, lighting to be placed like a dance floor you can get these light panels in small grid and large grid and because of the way they work you can fit them all in all sorts of places where they normally wouldn't fit and they'll fit on walls and so on very well uh, I believe they also work on passages um, as well They're just cool in general. You can do a lot with them. Moving along, because I want to keep this one fairly short, we have some new doors. Some new hangar doors. Warfare hangar door, the warfare hangar door with a window, and the warfare hangar door too. We're going to use the new helm block that comes with this pack as well. Open these up so you can see them further. Here we go. So these hangar doors are designed to fit together modularly, so they give you a better look. And you've got your window there. Very good for ship hangers or just base doors in general. Good stuff. And on top of that, we have the batteries, the warfare batteries, a lot chunkier, a lot more impressive, comes in the small version for the large grid. And the large version I don't think there is a smaller version of this which is interesting I mean I'm not quite sure why there's no smaller warfare battery but the small batteries tend to look cool anyway why they didn't do one and one of my favorite blocks so far you could probably notice that these searchlights are busy following me around where they can this is because searchlights have player tracking functionality built in they can track all sorts they can track ships and so on we'll see that the ship here i could set up a searchlight that actually tracks this ship we'll move on basically all you need to do is you'll find them in lighting the decoration one pop it down and it has an idle function already it has an AI aiming radius and so on and it can be used to target all sorts can even do target lock all of the functionality of a turret really on the custom turret controller if you wanted to target people only then all you need to do is turn off meteors small ships large ships leave characters on stations off neutrals put friends on enemies off enable target locking and make sure you'll see it's gonna follow me around like so and that's your searchlight
moving on from the searchlight, we have another one of my favourite blocks, which I can demonstrate down here in my impromptu railgun testing facility. This thing. The heat vent. If we take a look at one inside here, you'll see that you can change its colour at minimal load, its colour at maximal load, the radius and fall off of the light, the intensity, the offset, the dependency on power as well. So you can have it trigger at certain levels of power use. Now I've got these on default. And so what happens is when I fire the rail guns, you'll see, um, the heat vents open up and as the rail guns recharge and stop drawing power from the grid over time it's about 60 seconds these vents will shut down See, we're at 97 redlined power. There go the vents. One more time. Vents again. That's your heat vent. For shipbuilders, there's some more blocks. You might have noticed these as I've been zooming around. These are the bridge window slope and faces, which can be used to create a variety of windowed bridges, including sloped bridges like this. Look pretty cool. Because they're designed like that, they're the perfect place to stuff our new helm blocks. You can actually have bridge windows with controls. Those are cool. For small grid ships, we have the passenger seat, passenger bench. I think I've put them the wrong way around there. Hold on a sec. Always away. Still away. Give me a moment. Oh. Passenger seats, the offset passenger seat, which we talked about last time, which was part and parcel. Okay. Much better. So we've got the passenger bench. What else is there? Well, you've seen the helm block. That comes as part of this pack. I've got one hiding away inside here to control the custom turret. But not all there's some new doors these hatch doors 
come in sliding hatch doors which are half size and a full size sliding hatch door as well perfect for airlocks and they can also be incorporated into walls freestanding like this a nice one for ship builders and we're moving towards the end of the blocks the last box that you get are your warfare rocket launcher a bit different design to the one you're used to and your warfare gatling gun again different design course you'll notice there's no large grid version of those they're just small grid they do look good and that is what you get in your Warfare 2 broadside pack. Lots of nice new blocks for people that like to build bases. Additional content like the searchlight, which makes very useful little uh, work lights for when you're mining. Because you can set them, as I said, to follow the player. So if you've got a big cave that you're mining away in, you can have a little work light in there. You can replace uh, the work light tutorial that I made with that design. In fact, I might look at a different version of that work light using these um, searchlights, which uh, I may put up at some point. On the channel, I've just noticed there's a damage to my light armor there. There we go, all fixed. So, yeah, that is your Warfare 2 broadside pack. That's it for me for this one. So, I'll say stay safe, take care, have fun, enjoy the game. Happy engineering. Remember to report all the bugs that you encounter with Warfare 2 broadside or just space engineers in general to keen support site so we can get fixes rolling in on the game as soon as possible and uh, please treat the developers with kindness i've had to remove slash ban people from the facebook group for in want of a better term going off on one on the developers that's not on they do a hard job Yes, I know, they get the money when you buy the game, but that does not entitle you to abuse them or anyone. doesn't entitle you to abuse creators on YouTube either. I've had a couple of people on my YouTube channel who you won't have seen because I remove people like that quickly. As the David Tennant doctor said, no second chances. That's the kind of man I am. Anyway, that's the nasty bit out of the way. The great bit is there's a lot more to come with Space Engineers in 2022 and beyond. Marek Rose's comments on the last stream were very interesting. Expect to see a complete overhaul of the AI in this game. A complete overhaul of the end game. A complete overhaul of survival and the experience of actually going out and exploring in Space Engineers. Maybe more stuff like Frostbite, even better than Frostbite. Anyway, bye for now.